With hundreds of colors to choose from, setting up a new palette is intimidating. Look at all those shiny new wells to fill. There's a lot of pressure to pick the right colors. Not to mention, watercolor pigments are expensive. You don't want to waste money on colors you won't use or colors that don't work well together. These little tubes of paint are pricey, but they also last a very long time. So you want to choose colors that have staying power on your palette. One of my goals this year is to paint more abstracts. I've started playing in my sketchbook, but wish I had more color options. I've been painting with a limited color palette for the last two years, but I find that too much color mixing ruins the spontaneity of abstract painting for me. I wanted to create a palette for abstract painting with colors that I love straight out of the tube and that still give me some fun mixing possibilities. But with hundreds of colors to pick from, how do you narrow it down? If you're just starting out and investing in your first set of watercolors, I'm gonna make it easy for you. Watch my video on setting up a limited color palette. It covers the first six colors you need to get started, plus a few simple additions you can make if you wanna paint landscapes or animals. If you're like me and looking to expand your color options, then keep watching. While I set up my new palette and show you all these fun colors, I'm gonna share my tips on how to shortcut your color research and find colors that you love. First, make a short list of colors to consider. So what goes on the list? Here's three questions to ask yourself. What colors do you mix the most often? Is there a convenience color you could use instead? For example, I love to paint plants and spend a lot of time mixing greens. One of my favorite combos is New Gamboge and Thalo Green Blue Shade to create a warm green gold. So I shortlisted green gold and serpentine green as convenience colors I might want to add to my palette. I also mix Thalo Blue and Thalo Green often to create my own Thalo Turquoise, so that made my shortlist too. What are your favorite colors that you can never have enough of? These are colors you reach for again and again. For me, it's greens and blues, especially turquoise and teals. So I shortlisted a bunch of green and blue options to consider for my palette. I knew I wanted my abstract palette to have more cool than warm colors. What colors do you use the most often and how could they be better? I don't use a lot of warm colors like yellow, orange, and red, but I do love a pop of pink. On my limited palette, quinacridone rose has been my go-to, but I always wish I had a pink that was more of a coral color. So I shortlisted quinacridone coral and pyrrole orange. Once your shortlist is ready, it's time to consult the dot cards. There is no substitute for sampling colors yourself. Most major paint brands offer dot cards of their full watercolor range. They are so worth it. You can sample all the colors. I used my dot cards to swatch out my shortlist in my sketchbook. I used one or two stars to mark the colors that I loved and X's to cross off colors I didn't like. Swatching like this was especially helpful for choosing between similar colors like different yellows. Dot cards also have enough paint to do my favorite mixing charts. These only take a small amount of paint so you can try out how some of your new color options might mix together. Now, make a shorter list of colors to research. Stay off the internet until you do tip number one and tip number two. Seriously, or you'll end up down a rabbit hole of swatching videos and your list of colors will grow out of control. But once you have your shorter list of colors, it's a good idea to research your options a little. At this stage, I wanted to know more about how my new colors might mix together. So I searched for the color name plus mixing, like green gold mixing or cobalt teal blue mixing. I noted down which other colors on my shortlist mixed well with that color. You can also research artists you admire and see what colors they have on their palette. I looked up Tom Shepard, Jean Haynes, and Buffy Kaufman. They're all artists whose color choices I love and they share great color mixing advice. Seeing what was on their palettes and their favorite Daniel Smith colors reaffirmed some of the colors on my shortlist. 
it's time to make the final cut. Okay, I may be getting way ahead of myself, but it would be a dream come true to create my own Daniel Smith artist set someday. So, when it came down to making my final color choices, I thought, if Daniel Smith reached out to me, what colors would I include in my signature palette? That helped me make my final selections. I chose 12 new colors, and to fill all 18 wells in my new palette, I added in six of my favorite colors from my limited color palette. I'll put links to this palette and all the colors in the video description below. You can also grab a free traceable swatch card designed to fit under the mixing tray in this 18 well palette. Without further ado, here are the 18 colors I chose for my custom palette. Quinacridone Rose, Quinacridone Coral, Pyrrole Orange, Aussie Red Gold, New Gamboge, Nickel Azo Yellow, Green Gold, Fuchsite Genuine, Thalo Green Blue Shade, Cobalt Teal Blue, Thalo Turquoise, Thalo Blue Green Shade, Prussian Blue, Cobalt Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Lavender, Neutral Tint, and Buff Titanium. If I could hold joy in the palm of my hand, this palette would be it. These colors make me so happy. They're like little gumdrops of happiness. I cannot wait to start painting with these. But first, color swatching and mixing. Once you've chosen all your new colors, you need to do a full round of color mixing charts to see all the fun color mixes you can make. Check out my color mixing tutorial for a fun and fast way to mix all your new colors. 